and that's what we talked about earlier, just constantly interrupting and Miss Word and them don't see the difference because of white privilege. And I'm not going to condone it. I'm not going to even put a tie vote. If I see this pattern of Dara, Griggs, Worthen, and Fields, and that's why she wants to get rid of Galloway and me too, so they can control this city with that white privilege, I'm going to be abstaining because... Point of order. A retaliation and a shooting. So I ain't studying what Mr. Murphy talking about, and I ain't studying the ruling of Ms. Herkenroder. What I am concerned point about... Point of information. What's your point? To you through the speaker, do he understand I don't care? That's an improper point of information. What, I am, Mr. what I am concerned about is I get ready to quit talking. That's why, Mr. Murphy, be careful when you play games with me. I'm dead serious about my politics. Mr. I'm Mays, dead serious Mr. About Mays, Mays. Order. Mr. Mays, please remember your decorum. And re I'm just saying. Decorum? <laughs> you remember your decorum when you show out in front of all these black folks and white and tell me I can't exercise two what's minutes to respond. Mr. Remember, Mays, look at your decorum. What's your point, Mr. Murphy? His opinion of me has nothing to do with this special order that we is here talking about. And here we is, 430 is special affairs. We ain't even started special affairs. We ain't started the city council meeting. And here we is thank, letting him go on and on talking about what he think about Councilman Ms. Murphy. Well taken, when his Ms. special order Mr. Is about Murphy. Chief coming in. Mr. Murphy, well taken. Mr. Mays, I have asked you to wrap up so we can end this special let, order. Let me say this to you and Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy and Ms. Herkenroder, when the brothers speak, treat him different, treat him the same as you treat Ms. Burns and other folks. And I meant what I said from the beginning and I meant what I said from the end. If you don't respect me as the city council, I will teach you how to respect me and treat me. You will not be talking point of me information. What's your point? How are you going to teach me? That's an improper point of information, Mr. Murphy. You still have the floor. Let me ask you this question. Officer Metcalf, have you and I always seen eye to eye? Every single time we look at each other. <laughs> That's no. about the size of it. That's a heck no, of we, an we, answer. We, we, we ain't we go agree. Back and forth. That's no. about the size of it. That's a heck no, of we, an we, answer. We, we, we ain't agree. We go agree. back and forth. That's correct. My number one thing, because people come to me and they talk about Eric Mays on a regular basis, and I, you, you'll never have one person say, I ever said anything other than, he's a very smart man. You because I ain't buying some of them. And then when they meet with Mr. Neely and we get bad information and hear how we talked about on the radio, guess what I want? I want that mess to stop. Because I won't continue to play ball with nonsense, lies, and mischaracterization. And I don't want people to treat people differently. They getting away with murder, and they right. don't even let us get away with trying to follow rules. Warn them, mute them, I'm out of here. Mr. Chair, you have just allowed Mr. Mays during an appeal to make a whole involved statement. In Point of order. She's out of order. Warn her and get her butt out of here. She didn't call a point of order. She didn't let you rule on my point. She hollering out, warn her, give her her first warning. I want him out of here. I mean, it's in there. Can it you read it? It does not say well, that. Well, can you read any language in there that tells us that employment contracts come before us? So it you doesn't, don't know it it does not say that. Can you read any language that talks about employment contracts? as it relates to this council. No, because it does not say okay, what you're, it does I'll not say it, what you're saying. What you it, it doesn't what say What do that. you say think it say about an employment contract? It's not contract. what I think. It's what the charge okay, says. Okay, well, can you read it, ma'am? It doesn't say Can you read any? You telling me I can't find nothing in the, in the charter or in the rules about an employment contract? If you want to stay that on the record and don't want to read it, then I'll take a, a pause and go read it and find it. 
I'm trying to tell you that what you just said is not in the charter. I asked you, could you read anything dealing with employment contracts coming before this council? No, because it does not say okay, that. Okay, then, HR, Chairman, may I proceed a, rather than argue with her and I'll come back to you and you to Ms. Galloway. Okay, the appeal fails. Uh, is Mr. Jones still on the line, Madam Clerk? Yes, yes sir, I'm here, Mr. Chairman. You may continue and... Do your best to refrain, Mr. Jones. Continue. You got the floor. Thank you so much, counsel. Cry, baby, cry, baby, cry, baby. Big girls don't cry. Eva, it's worthless. And I'm going to let you know, guys, I stutter. I have a medical condition. So KKKK, Kate Fields, go smoke a chimney and sit down. And KKKK, Kate. Kate Fields, I'm a part of this new Malcolm X, this new Black Panthers of Flint, Michigan, and you're going to deal with it. So KKKKKKKKKKK, Kate Fields, and Eva, it's worthless. You guys need to get off this council already. I need to get together with the community in Eva Worthless's ward. And we need to get somebody on this ballot as a write-in to unseat this lady because she is not good for our city council. Mr. Maurice Davis, Ms. Galloway, Reverend Dr. Bishop Mays. My appeal is you let the speaker violate the rules of speaking and not only personally attack myself and Ms. Worthing, but you allowed him to continue with speech that is not protected, that was attacking and hateful, and basically rises to the level of hate crime. What speech did he use that was not protected? Uh, that would hold up. Hear no. his, alleging that I and Ms. Worthing belong to the KKK. Are you assuming that? Did he say that? Are you assuming you're, that? You're not sharing this. Chairman. Councilman Major, you have the floor. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, there's a lot going on here. And Ms. Galloway is right. Until we put folk up on the oath, we don't know if he's stutter or not. He might and he might not. But that's him, and that's what's before us. This guy talking about, you ain't got no teeth. I said, I don't need no teeth to gum my way through subpoenas with you and Gleason and Neely. Back off, Neely. We from the streets. You from the street? I'm from church. Absolutely right. Wrap up, Councilman May. No, point of order. There's no five-minute rules, Mr. Chair. You wrong and she's wrong. This is a special order, Lord a, a five-minute point of order. I'm telling you my point of order, and then you well, can rule on it, Mr. Lord Davis. Lower the tone of your voice. Thank you. How you going to tell me to lower the tone of my voice and Lord God gave me a tone? Don't holler in your mic, then. How about that? Don't holler on Facebook. And as far as Robert Jones is concerned, now I want to use this analogy, and I hope that I haven't worked myself up too much to do it, but I'm going to do my best. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise. And the reason why I did that is because when Robert Jones, when he was saying that same song last week, how many times did he stutter? Not one. How many times did I stutter? Not one. When he's talking to the council, how many times has he stuttered? But to preface it tonight, because he's using KKK, and that's supposed to be okay, you know, for him to do that and say that he stutters, he didn't stutter on anything else but KKK. And no one's here on this council is my doctor. I stutter with anything leading with the letter KKKK. It just happens. It doesn't happen when I sing. It just KKKK. And you know what? While I'm speaking of KKKK, K Phil and Eva Worthless, you guys Mr. Need to know. Sir, 
stop. You are out of order. But Ms. Word, and I'm here to tell you something. When you put your votes up against mine in the Ninth Ward, because you got in there with that vote with Mr. Kincaid, it's 1,400 people in the First Ward told me to come down here, speak up, and do my job. So you might want me to be removed. There's some council people in the last council who did remove me, and it cost the city $4,500. And so you might not agree with none of that. And I show, pray, and hope you lose this appeal because if you and Ms. Fields want to spend the public's time arguing about somebody calling me a fool and you want to condone it, then you for more chaos and got a bigger cultural difference than I know. I come from Michigan State. And if I'm a fool, I'm an educated fool. I don't believe everything folk tell me. I don't even believe some of what they tell me about me. They told me my house was boarded up. They tell me how much my bills are. I said, these folks know more about me than me. Now they want me to get some earbuds. <laughs> my position is this. Proceed, Councilman. Councilwoman. And let's see, after Brownies, uh, we went on to Lowell. And at that time, our schools were just packed, and we had these little modules out in junior high. Now, Lowell has been demolished, and so has, or no, Lowell's still there, but Lewis, which is the elementary school I went to, has been demolished. But, uh, and then I went to, after junior high, I went to Flint Central, and then pretty much after that, I put a flower in my hair, and I went out to San Francisco, and I was a hippie. Point of order, Mr. The President. Space. What's your point? Let's stop and this then, foolishness. Her point, we done gave a latitude. Her point then, has been uh, made. Go ahead. Rule go ahead. out order. Cause let her, got let order. her proceed. Go ahead. Well, I'm going to come right back and tell my I'm whole history. You're going to let me proceed? Cut that mess out. I'm talking about my I'll show or do Mr. it. President. And Miss Miss Galloway seemed to don't want to understand that. We've been knowing the rules was clear. You can't have Worthing and, and, and Kate Fields and them attacking me just because I'm me. These are clearly against our rules. But when it come to Mays, I got the right to get order. The rules are clear on that. And that's what he ruled on. Mr. Pemberton, Mr. Remberton, or any other Emberton can't come in here disrupting this chambers without me saying something to them about what they see. Point. But you and Miss Fields gonna catch a tiger by the tail when you try to paint who I am. I'm gonna tell you who I am. I'm a man that was baptized by Reverend Robs at Canaan when I was in the fourth grade. Now you might not like it, but I'm a Christian man. I'm a strong, ethical man. I used to be the third vice president of the NAACP at age 21 and was in these meetings probably before you even thought of coming to one. I was a UAW committee man at Truck and Bus, recording secretary, constitutional delegate. Point I'm order. also telling you point? and why it's relevant because I'm trying to show you I've been active in the community. I know who you are. I point of information. What's your point, Councilwoman? President Winfrey, I don't understand when you got baptized, how you got started in these council meetings. Can you please explain to me how that is relevant to the discussion that is being discussed here today? Mr. What President, the, here's, let, if let I don't see if it's another vote to remove Ms. Worthen for keep calling me names and adjectives. So the big picture is, Let's get ready to rumble, because the minute it happened, that's going to be the big point of order. I believe What's let's get ready to rumble is an intimidation and threat. Let me say this, Mr. President. Let's get ready to and rumble. You're ruling on the point of order, Mr. Chair. Yeah, Mr. Mays, would you not rumble with her? No, Mr. Either, Mr. Mr. President. Any politically, to I'm in a political got arena. Got you. It's a political rumble. Just because okay. you say rumble or do something like that, you're in a political arena. They're not going to punk me out. I will try to beat them, recall them, rumble, politic, win votes. I ain't stunned Kate Fields and them trying to paint me as a pitcher. Feared with me to wrap up and didn't interfere with Miss Galloway and them as they try to make their points for their crew. Well, I try to listen This is a serious motion for me, Mr. President. Point of information. 
What's your point? Um, does Councilman Mays realize that I don't have a crew? <laughs> I think the, uh, I don't know what to realize. All I know is it's a serious motion, and I got to watch and see how votes going to go. Can for this is Ms. Worthy, and it's talking about, and he threatened me in the last meet. And then, like, I'm a gangster, that they scared, and uh, this, that, and there. But this is getting ridiculous. So, Miss KKKKK Fields, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. That's just me. And Eva, uh, Janelle, it's Janelle, worthless. please mute it's that worthless. gentleman. He's removed no, from the. I'm stuttering. According to Section 3110. Y'all can comfort her. Y'all can vote with her. Y'all can condone it. And guess what? I just don't want different treatment and discrimination because we used to say in school, it's easy to pan and talk stuff. I can call them names that'll make them almost cry and get me throughout and laugh when I leave. And I sit here and listen to it, don't interrupt it. Then when I talk positive, you, I don't understand what that got to do with it. Point well, of order. Mr. Mays order? is making fun of another council person, which is against the rules. Mr. Bays, would you stop with that? Don't you? I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be myself. It ain't now rude. You heard me say now, nah, say don't make fun of a council person or don't change your voice. Ain't now rude like that. That's just something made up. All I'm saying is that when these folks set up here and attack me and try to paint me as to who I am, I'm going to tell them I'm honest, I'm a Christian, I'm an educated man, and then I want to see if Miss Galloway chime in and say, why are they attacking Mays like that? Point of order. Thank you. Uh, no, you yeah, no. I wouldn't care what Eva vote with her. I wouldn't care what Griggs vote with her and nobody else because I'm that type of politician. It ain't, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Thank you.